So I am Amar Asai and uh, I'm the team leader of Team Phoenix. I'm Neva. I'm a part of the team as well. Hi, I'm Tabish. I'm Shazneen Wazifdar. I am uh, Devansh. How did your team decide to participate in Solar Decathlon India? Uh, we kind of came across the whole brochure. We were uh, given to it by the faculty and we were briefed about it. So because given our college, we do have electives like sustainable. So we thought it was something that we could take up and do justice to as like a whole team because we're all doing it together. We thought we could put whatever knowledge we've gathered in the four years to the right use. How is your experience working with Ramakrishna Sarada Samiti as your project partner? So actually our project partner is an NGO, uh, Ramakrishna Sarada Samiti. Currently, the existing structure is just a single story structure and it doesn't suffice for the requirements of the community and the neighboring Kolivada. So we thought it'd be very interesting to uh, you know work with this because it's something we've also never designed for before. We've designed uh, like cultural centers, museums, uh, visitor centers, uh, commercial spaces, residential spaces. But resilience is something that we never really touched upon. How is your team's learning experience in the competition? Architecture and engineering are very like interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary courses. So us foraying into multiple things at once out of those 10 goals, even if we do four, we're learning so much more. And I think we're all very keen on learning about different things. So I think everyone has their own pluses and minuses. And I think as a group, we just try to harness that and like let everyone explore their own thing. And what about the workload that you have from university itself? How are you able to manage the two? We've been used to doing competitions as well as managing various subjects. So we had decided and dedicated at least twice a week we would meet and even if we do not work work at least we'd have a healthy discussion which takes us one step forward in the competition and I think we've made time and we've come out of our social or academic schedules to make time for Solar Decathlon because we're compassionate about it. What has been your experience working with team members from different backgrounds? A, a pleasant surprise was how we're getting along with the engineering students considering that we've never met them but we've come together well, there's a good understanding. So that's more of a pleasant surprise rather than like a challenge. How are you managing working together as a team in the current climate? I think we're just adapting. In a way, we're kind of being resilient ourselves. It looked like a big milestone in the competition at that time when it was put forward in front of us. People have to um, come to a conclusion, their difference of opinions and how you come to common ground. I think that was a very big challenge for us, but. We've done that uh, well. How does your team accommodate different opinions from members? No idea is ever too good. You put something up and there'll be two people to tell you, no, that's not that great. You know, let's change. Let's do something else. Let's push ourselves. In the um, long run, it has added up to a better idea and a better end result. But when the, it comes to a time to critique somebody's idea, we're very genuine about it. Like we're genuinely trying to view what could be the pros and cons and we want to move ahead. How have the self-learning modules and webinars helped you? Well, the self-learning modules helped a lot as well as the session with the makers of the software. So that sort of helped us ease ourselves into using the software. Um, sort of the way the modules were designed was such that after learning the topic, we would give a quiz or we would answer a set of questions. We were able to implement the strategies we use in Solar and explore them through the subject in college as well. So college added on to the experience of Solar Decathlon by allowing us to further explore certain strategies. The sort of ideals or the principles that we've learned in Solar Decathlon are a part of all of our designs. So sustainable design and sort of designing for net zero energy consumption um, is sort of inherently a part of our design process. What aspirations do you have out of Solar Decathlon India on a personal or a professional level? So what we're really aiming for is to uplift the science of our community within which we're working. So we've taken their needs really seriously. We've taken conducted interviews on site and we're really trying to focus and improve their lives through this structure that we're coming up with. And if that will be fulfilled, then that will be our biggest achievement for sure.